Alright, I might have fucked it. I'm very tired. But let's talk about running. Okay, so hopefully as you can see, I'm at the Belfast Mary Peters track. Today is a low end threshold day. You guys are gonna be fed up watching threshold, but it's very important. Low end threshold. Keep watching. I'm gonna go finish my warm up and then crack on with the session and then get some hills done at the end. Running sucks. <laughs> I have no other words sometimes for running. Um, it's probably, the biggest part of my life that I love the most but sometimes it can be cruel, unfair, not make you feel amazing and if you keep watching today's video you'll realize that although running can make you feel those things and although you might even think that it's running's fault it's not. It's our fault. We make mistakes. We have a lack of patience. We have a lack of discipline. We get greedy. We forget the basics. There is so many different ways to train. So many. Hills, intervals, track stuff, tempos, races. So many different ways to move your fitness forward. But there is only one way to absorb the training and, and get better. And that's by taking your recovery seriously. When you have a lack of patience or a lack of discipline or you get greedy, I talk about this all the time. You can get tired before you get fit. I got greedy and when you get greedy, you bite off more than you can chew and you get tired. But today, it's not a super tough day, but I remember one of the Ingebrigtsen brothers talking about when you're controlling lactate and when you're looking at lactate, it's an amazing thing, but you can sometimes be reminded once or twice a day when they're doing their double thresholds, you can be reminded once or twice a day that you're either super fit and everything's amazing, or you can be humbled very quickly. Today was one of those sad days. So I was doing eight times 2K. I had to keep the lactate low. That was the purpose of today. It's a, it's a glorified hard run, but you break it up into little reps. So it gives you a bit of recovery. It doesn't beat the body up as much, but you still get, what did I do? Eight times 2K, I still got 10 miles worth of work at that very bottom end of threshold. Brilliant day in terms of execution. Brilliant day in terms of hitting the right lactates but I was tired, so the speed has gone backwards. Now we're gonna get into, while I show you the rest of the session, now we can get into what mistakes runners are making. So what we do, what I want to talk about today, not what we do, what I wanna talk about today is what to do when you're tired or when something goes bad. You're on this path and you're on this trajectory and it's an upward trajectory and things are working, things are going brilliantly. You're getting better, you're getting better. Running is fun, you feel effortless when you're out there. And then what sometimes happens is you have a bad day or you have a bad session or even worse, a bad race. We're human, right? You understand? You're a human, it happens. What happens next is the problem. Something doesn't go the way you wanted it to. And what humans do is we focus on that one thing. We don't focus on six weeks, we don't focus on the two months of excellence and forward progress and everything going amazing. You focus in on that one bad thing. And then you stop being logical in your decision making and you start making emotional decisions. I'll show you. This is your training plan. You rip it up, 
that logical plan, that path that you were on, that was bringing you to good places. You, you, were, you were hypothetically on a trajectory to a really big result, a really good thing, and you let one bad day ruin it. So what happens next? You train harder, you train more, you change the training, and literally if you could imagine yourself digging a hole, you're digging it deeper, deeper and deeper and deeper. But on the track today, and this is what we do as athletes, there's this moment of in denial. You're like, no, I can't be tired. Oh my God, I'm, I'm unfit. Oh my God, the training's not working. <laughs> and suddenly everything starts to fall apart. Now today what I did a brilliant job of was accepting. Bit of in denial, bit of frustration, and then I caught myself on and I said, no, you've trained hard, you got a little bit greedy, it's understandable. Don't worry if you get greedy, you're excited, you want to be better, but learn to control it. And we'll come back to that. I had to reel myself in, check myself, slow down, keep that lactate exactly where it's supposed to be, 1.5, the pace is irrelevant. Irrelevant. For today, the pace is irrelevant. The effort is what matters, the lactate is what matters. At the very least today, even though I was a bit tired, at least I slowed it down, I ran at that right effort, and I hit the right lactates. Here's what you probably do, and let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a sad story. In 2016, I tried to make the Olympic Games in Rio. <laughs> and I trained for months. Six months, I think it was, seven months, Australia, altitude camps, 120 mile a week, 130 mile a week, I, I, I put in the work and I was warned. I was warned probably seven times. You're running too fast. You're not hitting the splits. Why are you going so fast? You're going to F this up. And I didn't listen. It's the first time that I got a insight into how good I could be. I seen it. This was long before super shoes. I was running 10k in the morning sub 30 minutes, 10k in the afternoon sub 30 minutes. It was fun. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, it was so fun. And that's the problem. When you get fitter, it's fun. And I was pushing. I just, humans, athletes, we have this more is better, harder is better. I kept pushing, I kept pushing. And I finished myself off with a track session and I, I did a hard rep at the end. And two days later when I'm out doing like a tempo run, my quad tears 10 days before my like qualify for Rio Olympics. And I, yeah, I fucked it hard. <laughs> and it's so sad because that doesn't seem fair. You, hey Stephen, what went wrong? What did you do? Oh, I tried too hard. <laughs> I don't want to cry, but yeah, you tried too hard. I, I tried too hard to make the Olympics and tore my quad. But if you think about it, it's not, it's, it's easier to push. It's harder to hold back. It's easier to go to the track and do a bit of a session. It's harder to be disciplined and just go for a run. It's easier to go and push and think that you're getting this big pot of gold at the end of pushing, this big fitness benefit. Everything's going to move forward. Looks better on Strava. It's harder to hold yourself back. So running's not not fair. Running is very fair. Let me tell you. Running is the simplest and the most basic sport there is but there's just very simple rules and you have to stick to those rules recovery is your best friend I talk all the time about this big sponge I, I'm gonna have to buy a bucket and a sponge <laughs> and you're dipping the sponge in the water and you're pulling it out and it's full and when you've worked hard your sponge is full and you have an easy day you drain it a bit you have another easy day you drain it a bit more 
what we're doing as runners is we're not draining our sponge enough. And this is the sad part. When it's full, the injury risk is higher. Fatigue is higher. Overtraining syndrome higher. Lack of sleep higher. You're, you're moody, more moody. And so when that sponge is full, if you don't drain it, you don't recover. Foam roll, massage, they help. Epsom baths, ice baths, they help cryotherapy, uh, all this stuff, meditate and journal and it all helps calm everything down. But ultimately, what will help you recover the most is little periods of easy. Not getting greedy. Don't bite off more than you can chew. This is going to kill my soul. But I probably need Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four easy days. <laughs> four like, <laughs> I get anxiety in my chest, literally anxiety in my chest <laughs> at the thought of four easy days. But my body needs it. And otherwise what happens is you go backwards. Sponge gets too full, it can't absorb any more, you didn't gain the benefits of that session, no deal. And that's the problem with running. So train hard guys but find discipline, find patience. Don't be in denial if you've overworked it. Take a few easy days, it's not the end of the world. Be proud of yourself, be willing to push, that's amazing, but also be willing to back off. Well done for pushing, well done for wanting to be better. Today's session was good, it's a good session for you to do, it's super humbling, you have to slow it right down. Everybody can do tempo hard, not everybody's willing to do tempo a bit easier. Start to think if you're one of these athletes that's always willing to push but never willing to back off, comment below, tell me about it, speak to other people about it. You're not alone. That's what we do. We love pushing. We get greedy. We want to be better. Hold back. Make recovery a priority. And don't get tired before you get fit. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a little bit different. But stop making those mistakes. Stop pushing and pushing and pushing and start being willing to hold back. I've talked about recovery, I've talked about nutrition, I've talked about all this stuff. If you want to check out more stuff on that, I, I, I cannot, cannot convince you enough to go check out Jogging Room. There's five workshops, five workshops, recovery, nutrition, psychology, strength conditioning, everything running, 60 lectures, 12 hours worth of tips. I think there's three hours worth of lectures on what you can do for your recovery. There, there's, a quote, <laughs> there's a quote that says, do as they say, not as they do. I, I need to watch my own bloody master class and start <sighs> thinking about this recovery stuff and not being so eager to push and push and push. Don't get greedy, be disciplined, be smart with this and enjoy it. And at the end of the day, it's only running. But it is sometimes my favorite thing in the whole world and then other times like today, I'm <laughs> cursing to the ceiling. <laughs> Have a good day. Like, subscribe, do all those lovely things. Take care.